So if we chop down a tree completely, we should get planks as well as sticks or logs. So today we're going to take a closer look at base building in DayZ. Most of these were in the stress test number 50, but they were removed in 51. Uh, not sure why. There's probably an issue and a reason for that. The only thing that wasn't spawning or you can't get in the stress test is logs. If you cut down a tree, you will get planks. Using an axe on a tree and scrolling through the options, you can craft a fence kit and a watchtower kit. Once you pick these up in the stress test build though, they will ruin, meaning you can't use them. So I went into the community offline mode by Arkansas and spawned some bits in just so I could get it done for you guys as it's not working in the stress test properly. Of course, some of you may have already seen me do this as I did it live on my Twitch channel, link in the description below. And with all that being said, once you've crafted your kit for your fence or your watchtower, stand in the center of the sticks and you should be able to see the inventory and items you can drag into, which you will need loads of nails, planks and logs for. Of course you'll need four logs at least to get the watchtower started, one for each corner, and the fence at least one. Uh, it uses one log for the base of the fence and I'm not sure if it needed any more but the fence was a lot bigger than I expected. Nails you're going to need around 10 per layer or wall for the watchtower and the fence. I didn't count exact numbers so I apologize I was kind of throwing nails in to get it done to show the stream and you guys here on YouTube but I'm not too far off on the actual numbers you would need. Keep an eye on your resources and materials. I kept forgetting that I would need more nails once I'd built a certain part and wondering why the next part wouldn't build. And then I looked and there was no nails in there. So I had to keep getting more nails and putting them in. Before we carry on, nails are the only item so far that you're going to need to find a load of to build a compound or a small survival settlement. The wood you can get from trees, the logs, the planks, anything else you might need. And you can craft the foundation or the kit to build the watchtower and fences to get the perimeter of your base laid out at least would be pretty easy but you're going to need a lot of nails to actually build it now once loot is all sorted out and there'll be nails spawning in industrial zones workshops etc it shouldn't be too bad but you've got to keep in mind everybody else will be looking for nails also so it's going to be a bit of a struggle i'm seeing this anyway this is this is what i'm predicting you're going to struggle to find a load of nails on a populated server especially if it's a, a pvp survival People are going to just kill you for your nails. On an RP server, it may become a kind of currency, the nails. I think that could kind of work because people would need them for their base building. Maybe trade for certain items for nails and vice versa between factions that you may run into. But we'll have to wait and see. Also at the moment for me, the foundation or the bottom layer of each structure that I laid down, I could not get to seat properly in the terrain of the world. It kind of floated a little bit above. So the ladder was kind of hard to get onto. Uh, especially the watchtower anyway just to get that out of the way for you guys i'm sure this will be fixed in the future so they sit snug onto the terrain and make it easy to access now to start actually building the structure once you have all your components you will need a hammer i tested and you could use a sledgehammer as well as the normal small hammer to build it must be in your hand and you must have all materials inside the kit to start building and i did find it kind of awkward and finicky to find these build locations. It will pop up the contextual text and you can select whether to make it out with metal or wood, depending if you have that material in the inventory for said kit. Now I did have to be in the center of the kit to start building, but all my materials were also in the center of the kit. In the way, they had a physical collision and I really struggled to find the build wall one or build foundation option it, yeah, it didn't work. So something needs to be done with that. Either they sit on the floor more flush or around the outside of the kit so you can get inside and easily move around and access those build points that appear when you're pointing in the right direction with the hammer. But I did manage to do it either way. I, I actually had to jump and stand on top of the materials half the time to get it to work. But we got there and it does look really nice once you've built something. Now, I have seen on Reddit people have built proper bases. I have no idea how they've done it. Built a proper ward off and watchtowered compound. Uh, they, they they looked much better than what I made. But this is what we managed to do on stream. I on my own, of course, the chat giving me tips and help here and there. But there's only so much we could do in our allotted time. Now, the Hesco boxes, I really like. They fold out once you place them. And then you have to have a shovel and just use to dig and fill the Hesco box with the shovel once, <laughs> once you've built them. And it is amazing. It looks so good. I mean, it's, it all just appears inside the Hesco box, but it feels natural to, to dig next to the Hesco box, fill it feel full of dirt, and you've got a wall or a barrier, as some kind of way of stopping players getting into your compound. 
I really like the way these work. You could use these to make rudimentary roadblocks or block certain accesses to your base from the outside. Also, you could use them to organize the inside of your compound or your base or inside your base as cover or a way to lead people to certain areas of the compound depending on its size. We also tested how far away we could see the base and it works pretty far away. Here I am flying away and it looks like a base in the distance. Now imagine somebody actually made a good base and you can see floodlights and torches on and things like that in the distance and maybe worthwhile raiding. We also attempted to test the damage to the base. It didn't seem to work, though I only shot it with a gun. Uh, the, the little green dot stayed green, didn't go orange for damaged or red for ruined. And I put a few rounds in. Maybe we'll need some kind of explosive or melee weapon to damage it. Not 100% sure, but a gun definitely didn't damage it. But all in, with my testing and experimenting of the base building mechanics and materials, I really enjoyed it. It's got a bit of a learning curve, but if you watch this video or any other tutorial out there, you'll get it. Once you've got it once, you won't forget it. And you'll be able to build your own compound with your friends to try and survive against raiders or raid others in the world of Chernerus. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on base building so far in DayZ, and I'll see you peeps next time.